believe we are heading over here to the streets of Charlotte here, guys. We have the Charlotte Hornets getting 10 points at the house versus the Phoenix Suns here, land 10 on the road here. If you'd like to go with the money line for the Phoenix Suns, they are land minus 500. The Charlotte Hornets are getting back plus 385 on the money line in this one. Over and under sitting at 229 in this one, guys. Uh, what do you think in this one, Chris? Obviously, first game with KD in here for the Suns. They are land double digits on the road. Uh, LaMelo Ball is out for this game, Chris. How are you looking at this one, my brother? Yeah, obviously we'd like this even more if LaMelo Ball was in the lineup. But, uh, you know, the total has corrected itself because he's not in the, in the lineup, right? I think I think if LaMelo Ball is in this game, I think we see it in the 230s. Uh, the Charlotte Hornets have been the number one pace team in the NBA during their six-game win streak. Again, uh, with LaMelo Ball on the court, he's, he's probably their most important player, right? He facilitates the ball, flies up and down the court. He can throw opposing defenses off. But this has been an offense, a team that's been operating more effectively, efficiently as of late, and they know that they're going to be without ball for the rest of the season, right? So it's not like the Hornets necessarily think they're making the playoffs or they're doing anything like that, but I think they're going to want to ride this heater just a little bit more. They feel better about themselves, um, and it is on their home floor, right? So they're going to try to push the pace and try to recreate what would happen if Lamella Ball was out there anyway. On the other end, it's Kevin Durant's first game, and if we remember – when Kyrie f played in his first game with the Mavericks, a lot of the first time that these offensive superstars play, you know, you just see the offense, that team focused on the chemistry on that side of the ball, right? There's a lot of points when Kyrie played his first game, um, a lot of points from Kyrie, a lot of points total in that game. And I think we're going to see that a lot in this one too. I mean, Kevin Durant obviously adds an element to the Phoenix Suns that just makes them really dangerous. I never thought Devin Booker was a pure number one guy. I think that's fairly obvious, but he's a great shooter. Now he doesn't have to be the number one guy because they have Kevin Durant. I think when those starters are out there, it could be pretty lethal. So, uh, you know, I, I just I see a lot of points in this one, guys. I know that Phoenix Suns defense has been spectacular, but I think some of the momentum that the Hornets are getting at home and some of the offensive prowess that they've been showing is going to show up. That, that's a fringe top 10 offense as of late, right? And it's not all the mellow ball. Uh, so I think we get a showcase game here, guys. It's Kevin Durant. It's his first game. The cameras are on. Let's get some points in this one. <laughs> All right, man. It's really Chris Clark in the chat says Kevin Durant under 0.5 haircuts, man. It's just, that's hilarious <laughs> right there. And and under 0.5 um motion as well, man. Precious. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Ski. What are we doing in this one? I, I I don't know, Chris. We just did a show, man. Me and my guy Ski, we kind of think this might be an under type game. Now, I'm not a total bidder, to be honest with you, man. But yeah. I do think that, and it could be more on the Suns' side, like you said, that they want more offense in this one. But I just feel like first game with the, with that with a little mellow ball, this the pace is really going to shift. You're not going to see this is one where you don't really look at the numbers of how the Hornets been playing because uh, the without the mellow ball, the pace is going to change dramatically, in my opinion. Dennis Smith Jr. does not push the pace the way the mellow ball does. They're still without PJ Washington as well, but I think mainly the mellow ball. Um, I could I'd be looking at the Hornets team total under in this one, so I didn't necessarily have the balls to to take it, but that's what I lean in this one ski I know we talked this now you lean the full game under here right ski yeah full game under for me um phoenix post all-star they've been playing at the fifth slowest pace and the hornets the reason they've been winning games hasn't been on offense it's been you know they're a top five defensive rated team uh post all-star break as well you, you you call it when i think about the hornets without Lamelo. ever since he's been in the league i think they play slower um i did see some stats and the possessions per game were kind of the same but uh, the points per game, I think, dropped by about seven or eight um, as far as what the Hornets were averaging. So I agree they're going to miss him tremendously. Um, he leads the team in points. He leads them in assists. PJ, um, I think that's a big miss, too, offensively. And um, just looking at the, what the Hornets have been doing, they went under their last four. Uh, they're under 20 of their 28 home games. Phoenix, uh, they've been playing under on the road lately. They went under six of their last nine games. I think this is more of under 229. I think the Hornets start to play lower scoring games in the near future. Yeah, that's a good point there, Chris. So the middle ball not be, uh, being out doesn't scare you at all, Chris, right? Uh, I mean, I, only other question. Why do you like, would, would you like Suns team total over a little bit more? Because if you're liking the Suns score more than almost the offense, would you think, would you agree that that's the, maybe the safest bet, just uh, Suns team total over? You still, you're so bullish on the full game over. You're like, you know what, Suns putting up 130 in this one. What do you think, Chris? I think the Suns team total is a good look, too. I mean, that's a route that I was thinking about going. Here's the thing, right? If this was a game with LaMelo Ball and without Kevin Durant, 
this total would probably be a little bit higher, right? And I, I realize what LaMelo does for the pace, um, but the thing is, it's been working for the Hornets. You know, going at that fast of a pace has been working. They've been more effective. They've been winning games, actually. So even though ball is out, I think they're going to try to recreate that. Dennis Smith Jr. doesn't quite do it the same way. Scary Terry doesn't quite do it the same way. But I think they're going to try to reproduce some of that pace at least. And then you got Kevin Durant on the other end, who he might not be LaMelo Ball as far as the pace he has, but the efficiency that he has and the shot creation he has are second to none, right? So um, I, I just think this number is a little too low. I have it at 235. That's a good point. That's a good point there, man. Hey, I just had to ask you about that just to make sure, especially yeah. for all the listeners as well. So our guy Chris taking the over um, 229 in this one, my guys. Uh, Suns versus the Hornets. It's the only official play. 